Well, Justin, thank you very much. We have a great neighbor in Canada, and Justin is doing a spectacular job in Canada. Everybody loves him, and they love him for a reason. So congratulations on the job you're doing. And I want to thank also uh, Chancellor Merkel for what she's done here. It's been really incredible the way things have been handled, and nothing's easy, uh, but so professionally and without much interruption, despite uh, quite a few people. And uh, they seem to follow your your G20s around. But uh, you have you have been amazing, and you have done a fantastic job. And thank you very much, Chancellor. Thank you. I'm truly uh, glad and very proud to be here today to announce a historic initiative that will help transform millions of lives, millions and millions. A lot of great, great women out there with tremendous entrepreneurial spirit and talent and really provide new hope to these women from countless communities all across the world. Women in both developing and developed countries represent tremendous promise for economic growth and prosperity. When more women participate in the workforce, which, by the way, will be a lot more competition for people like me prior to becoming a politician. It's a lot of, that's a lot of competition, talented competition. But the world economy will grow, and millions of people will be lifted out of poverty. Millions and millions of people, jobs. The critical investments we're announcing today will help advance the economic empowerment of women around the world. As I said in Poland on Thursday, and Poland was so terrific to me and, and such great people, empowering women is a core value that binds us together. I'm very proud of my daughter Ivanka. Always have been. From day one, I have to tell you that, from day one. She's always been great. Champion. She's a champion. If she weren't my daughter, it would be so much easier for her. <laughs> Might be the only bad thing she has going, if you want to know the truth. But I'm very proud of Ivanka, who's been a forceful advocate for landmark women entrepreneurs. And she uh, worked very hard for the Women Entrepreneurs Finance Initiative. So I want to thank you, Ivanka, for all of the great work you do in so many ways, in addition to the great work you've done over the last few work weeks and, and months, working so hard to help everybody. You're helping the chancellor, but you're helping women all over the world. And I want to thank you. Thank you very much. I also want to thank World Bank President, my friend. Well, Kim. <laughs> great guy. Really a great guy. I might have even appointed him, but I didn't. He'd be a great appointment. And the founding donor countries for their generous support. We've had uh, tremendous support from so many countries. Chancellor Merkel and Ivanka, this is a vision that really has now become a reality, a very strongly funded reality. Thank you for all your efforts and your dedication to this very critical issue. And I love it because so many jobs, even beyond women. The women will be creating tremendous initiatives and businesses, and that means jobs for people. We applaud everyone involved in this wonderful and meaningful project, and President Kim told me just recently that this is one of the most significant fundraising efforts for women entrepreneurs that has ever happened in history. And I think there's really nothing even close. So that's a great, that's a really great achievement. I'm pleased to announce today that our administration will also make a substantial contribution. And around the world, women face numerous barriers running their own businesses, including access to capital and maybe almost as importantly, access to mentors. The facility will help remove these barriers and open up doors of opportunity so women may live and work to their full potential. And I know what that potential is. It's unlimited. By investing in women around the world, we're investing in families, we're investing in prosperity, and we're investing in peace. With the $50 million commitment, the United States will continue to lead the world stage in developing policies to empower women financially, 
in our modern economy. So I just want to congratulate everybody. This has been a really difficult one, but once it got going, it was about women, and it just took off beyond what anybody thought. Thank you, thank you, thank everybody here. And Chancellor, thank you very much. Your leadership is absolutely incredible and very inspiring. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.